Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Mmm, Mama Likey. I'm still your host, Bill. A couple of days ago, I gave it a shot to make pizza at home, and it turned out pretty successfully. And then I got to thinking, most people probably don't make their own pizza at home. But actually, if you just went with a cheese pizza, you could make that for just about $4. And it's enough for two people, um, at least the size that I'm making. So we're going to give it a shot. I am actually going to do some toppings. But you know what I always say, pizza's kind of like sex. Even when it's bad, it's still pretty good. Let's get started. As always, I'm going to show you what you need to get started. Now, this looks complicated, but don't worry, it isn't. All right. Now, uh, if you're just making a regular like cheese pizza or whatever, um, what you're going to need to do, I got Jiffy Mix. This was 69 cents, and it works really well. You're going to need to pick up just some pizza sauce. Um, you can use tomato sauce if you like to, but that's kind of ghetto. Uh, you'll need a bag of mozzarella cheese. This was on sale, $2. Oh, this was a buck, by the way. Um, I'm going to be using some green pepper in it, so I'm going to need a cutting board and a sharp knife, and of course my green pepper. And then later on we're going to need this to cut the pizza up and eat it, and this to serve it. Uh, you're going to need some cooking spray, or whatever you want to use. You're going to need a bowl with a lid um, or some saran wrap. You'll need a spoon. Ooh water, but once again, doesn't have to be bottled. I just do that to make it look pretty. Uh, you're going to need a baking pan. This one's really old and scary, but it works, and that's why I'm going to use tin foil. <laughs> and you're also going to need a measuring cup. So, you're also going to need some flour, and of course, a stove. Well, rather an oven, but whatever. Ah! Oh! Let's get started, and I'll show you how you put it all together. Okay, seriously, people, this is not rocket science, and I'm going to show you exactly why. If you go with my Jiffy Mix recipe, uh, here, here you go, let me take a little look here. Um, right there on the back, pizza crust instructions. Yeah, so we're going to follow those step by step. I went ahead and preheated the oven to 425 degrees, and now we're going to take our little Jiffy Mix and, and watch this. Boom! Almost boom. Settling may occur. Okay. And then I've got half of a cup of water. Make sure you don't use more, it'll make it goopy. Pour that in there. Bam! And then, I got a spoon. We're gonna start to mix it. And then we're going to cover it and let it sit for five minutes. At which time we're gonna roll some flour into it to make it a little bit, um, I don't know, crustier or whatever. And then we're gonna go from there. And that is approximately what your mixture should look like. So we're gonna take our lid, cover it. Okay, hi. So it's been five minutes and my mixture has uh, risen a little bit. Now this can get a little messy. What you're going to want to do, take some flour. Now they say to do it on a, a cutting board or whatever. I'm just going to do it in here. Um, and you're going to want to knead the dough together and really work that flour in there. Um, and once that's done, we're going to roll it out on the pan. We'll add the sauce and the cheese, but we'll get to that here in a minute. Let me take care of this and turn this off while I still have a good finger. Well, Oh, it's, it's messy. And next, you want to use your cooking spray. Spray down your pan really well. That way it slides off. And remember, we're using the tin foil for easy cleanup because then we'll just rip it off and it'll be clean and no more washing. So I went ahead and pressed it out here. I'm going to use this, actually, just to roll it out because I want to get it as flat as possible. I like thin pizza. And it's still not going to be like cracker crust thin, but this actually does help, and some of you might be like, ew, that's gross, got a rolling pin, but I'm ghetto and I don't have one. So let me do this. And then the next thing that you're going to want to do, here's a trick that some people may not know that I learned from working in pizza restaurants. You're going to want to take a fork, by the way, this is going to be sort of a handicapped looking pizza, but take any kind of fork and just go over the whole thing and poke holes in it because that's going to keep it from bubbling up and rising and, and all sorts of stuff. Okay, here's kind of a good view of it, uh, which it's all flattened out and I've poked my holes in it and it actually covered most of the pan. All right, I've added my sauce and add as much or as little as you like, but the most important thing is try to get it all the way to the edges. So I had a little bit of ground beef flying around, um, so I added that and my black olives and my green peppers, but I put a layer of cheese down first, and I'm going to put some more on now because that's the way I like to do it. I'm also going to add a little bit of seasoning salt or just regular salt. Um, 
and Italian seasonings on the top of this just to give it a little something extra because I like my pizza kind of salty. I don't like it sweet. And one other thing that I'm going to do, which I'm not going to show you guys all this, and um, that's why I'm telling you about it, is I'm going to add, I have some cheddar cheese lying around as well. Oh, make sure your cheese gets to the edge. You don't want, you don't want no nasty crust, okay? And pretty much, yeah, I just used the entire bag of mozzarella. That's okay, though, because it's going to be damn good. But uh, I've got a little bit of cheddar cheese lying around at a lot of pizza restaurants. Just sprinkle just a little bit for a little something extra. So I'm going to get all that done, and I'll show you what this looks like when I pop it in the oven. And as I'm about to put it in the oven, this is what it looks like. I've got my Italian seasonings, a little bit of seasoned salt, as you can see, my mozzarella and cheddar cheese. So let's pop it in for 20 minutes and see how this bad boy turns out. Mmm, can't wait. And remember, if I've gone too fast for you or you get confused at any point, just look on the back of the box. It's all right there. Yeah. Time to take her out. Y'all hear that pizza sizzle? That means it's hot. Y'all let it sit for two or three minutes, and then you can enjoy her. But even then, you might burn your tongue. Wow. Oh, my God. That looks so good. Even I'm impressed. Um, I think that one turned out better than my first one. So there you go. That's how you make homemade pizza. It's inexpensive, it's easy to do, and it's kind of fun. So try making one at home tonight. Let me know how it turns out, and most of you will see me eat this on my live show later on. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Come to daddy. Oh.